You might have already seen my 40 Fay Farm tips in under 9 minutes video. Well now I've got even more tips for you. You can rename your house by hovering over your bed and pressing F. To transfer whole stacks of items between your inventory and storage shed, hover over the stack and press R. To get help finding a particular fish, check your almanac. It will tell you whether the fish is found in fresh or salt water and if it needs to be caught at a specific time of day or season. When you cook fish, it will turn into the same product regardless of species, meaning that some fish are worth more raw than cooked. For example, this rainbow trout is worth way more if you don't cook it. Make sure you visit every vendor and open their shop. You'll unlock new crafting recipes without even having to buy anything. To get lumber, you'll need the lumber station. Lumber is crafted from beech logs, which you get from the thinner trees, and oak logs from the thicker trees. To plant more grass, you need to craft it in the build menu. There are different types of grass for different uses. To place walls and flooring, go into your house, enter build mode and press T to tab across to wallpaper or R to tab across to flooring. To hang wall decor, click the wall. You can buy glasses from Charles in the marketplace. At night you'll see little green balls of light all around the world. Touch them to get a boost of energy. To get seasonal crops, plant regular crops and use magic crop swap fertiliser on them. Each crop has a chance of turning into a different crop when you use the fertiliser and the crops they change into change with every season. To plant flowers, you'll need to craft flower soil beds. For which you will need mulch, which is found on the ground in Hazy Haven and Spooky Woods. You can move flowers, whether they are fully bloomed or not, in build mode. If there's a festival, you'll get a notification at the start of the day. Go straight down to the docks and into the town hall to get in on the action. At the Flower Bloom Festival, Merritt will ask you to craft decor items with flowers. You can get recipes from her, but only on the day of the festival. Failing that, if you have the Squid Vase recipe, you can craft that instead. It counts. You can even reclaim the materials once you've turned in the quest. To plant fruit trees, open build mode and in the gardening tab you'll see an image of the fruit that the tree bears. Click it and plant it. To upgrade your tools, go to Cinder on the docks and get it done ASAP. You can craft paper using the decorating table and use it to make wallpaper. If you have no story quests after finishing a chapter, go to sleep and you should get a new quest when you wake up the next day. Some vendors sell colour palettes, which you can use to customise furniture items. Friend quests reset each day, so if you don't finish a quest it will be gone the next day, but don't worry, there are no repercussions if you fail to complete one. Please be aware that at the time of recording, NPCs will take a full stack of items when you turn in a friend quest, so make sure you only have the amount you need to give in your inventory. To refine gems, you'll need a gem polishing station. You'll need different refined gems for quests and they're also great for selling to make money. There are several different cooking stations in the game including the campfire, artisan table, food prep table and cooking hearth. So if you're struggling to find a food item, make sure you've checked every cooking station. You don't need to leave the stump for trees to grow back. However, trees on your farm won't grow back once you've cut them down. You can only have one job quest active at a time. If you buy an animal or collect one you've bred, but the day ends before you have chance to register it on your farm, go back to the vendor the next day and your animal will be waiting for you in a pen to the left. You'll be asked to wave to an animal for a quest. To do this, just press B and click on the wave emote. You can get an animal to follow you around by clicking on the book where you registered the animal. Hover over the animal and press F. To get produce from animals, you really only need to make sure they're fed. If they can go outside, they'll eat wild grass. On rainy days, put some food into their trough. You don't need two of the same species to breed animals. Take the animal you want to breed to Loretta and they'll do everything for you. You can also use a charm for a chance to get different coloured animals. 
However, this is not guaranteed and unfortunately hasn't worked for me yet. In the escape menu, you can find a dungeon tracker. Once you've visited a floor, the dungeon tracker will tell you which seal you need and what resources you can farm there. This will help you plan ahead before a visit to a dungeon. If you have any spare dungeon seals lying around, you can sell them for a bit of extra money. In my humble opinion, the best food for energy is wild salad. It's made entirely from foraged items that are easily found and abundant, and each salad gives you 50 energy. Active potions show in the top left corner with a little white line that tells you how long you have left until the potion runs out. Don't button mash during combat. A three hit combo will likely get you hit because you can't move out of the way quickly enough. Instead, try a two hit combo and move around to avoid attacks. In the Hazy Haven Mist Clearing Quest, two of the mists you have to clear are not actually in Hazy Haven, but instead are near Drax House. Spoiler alert, you'll get wings as a reward for a main story quest, and you can also get other designs of wings from the same character who gave you the wings, but at the time of recording, there is a bug where if you change your wings, you'll lose your double jump, and there's currently no fix, so you might want to hold off on trying out new styles. You'll need an item called a Blob Glob to craft an important potion during Chapter 5. To get Blob Globs, catch Bloblin in the Fey Realm and leave them in a Fey Conservatory. You have no idea how many times I had to record that sentence. If you fall off the floating ruins, you'll go back to the start of the floor you're on, even if you haven't sealed that floor yet, and there are no repercussions. In the floating ruins, you'll need to carry two magical spheres to the exit. You can carry two at once, so there's no need to keep going back and forth like I was doing for several floors. To get to Fey Acres, once you've completed the floating ruins, cast the spell you've been rewarded with at this point in the Fey Realm, and you'll get a magical bridge leading you to your new farm. To get magic crops, plant standard crops in the Fey Realm and add magic crop swap fertiliser. You can do this in other areas, but you'll need to use the special Fey soil beds. And that's it, another 45 tips to help you in your Fey farm journey. If you enjoyed this video, or found value in it, please consider a like and subscribe. It really helps get my content in front of the right people. Let me know what you're enjoying most about the game and what else you'd like to see tips or guides for. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.